Like the child who was able to see that the emperor was without clothes, I do. Can we see what's before us today? Can we see the greed, the lies, the violence that lay before us? Can we see the illusions of security that come from making war? September 11, 2001, all of our imperial illusions of security based on nuclear weapons, Star Wars shields, or trillion dollar military budgets were shattered in a week. We were vulnerable, just like everyone else on this fragile planet. With all due respect, if there be such a thing as real security, then it must rest on something more than what we can do for ourselves with muscle or weapons. Something that has to do with relationship with others and the earth, with fairness. There is no problem here. With honoring the common weal and the commonwealth. With being a neighbor, not the overlord. And all of that means justice. How can we restore our suffering society and crippled economy, our war somewhat win wars and bring the false peace of I know. victory? But I know. justice will never be achieved with bombs and cruise and missiles, again, with all due nor with Star Wars and out-of-this-world plans. <laughs> However profitable that might seem for the militarization of space, I'm here for peace. the only victor in war is war itself. If you and I want real peace, not dominion or wealth or empire, then work for justice. Justice for one another, justice for the community, justice for that man over there, and justice for the earth. By the nonviolent cross and resurrection, by Jesus' witness to the truth. By Jesus' passion and death. By Jesus' victory over the grave. The 11th station. Thank you, officer. I appreciate Jesus is nailed to the cross. Non-cooperation with evil, Gandhi preached, is essential as cooperation with good. It's an un